Okay, so I have about three and a half minutes to explain the importance of writing with your body rather than your hands. Pat's come up with a really clever saying which will really muddy the waters and probably make you all pull your hair out, but here goes. You can't go faster than you can ride. That's it. Pretty profound, huh? So what we're going to do is I'm going to explain to you a few basic things about riding a circle. When you're riding a circle, you look to the inside. This has the effect of displacing your weight slightly to the outside so that your horse can balance your weight and not dive in. If you ride like a motorcycle rider, like I'm about to right here, you'll see that Uma has to counterbalance my weight by stepping to the inside of the circle. She can't stay round. That would mean that I would have to mechanically steer her with my reins to make her stay round, rather than displacing my weight, putting my body in the correct position so that she can ride a nice, smooth, arcing circle. In addition to shifting your weight to the outside and looking to the inside of the circle, your inside leg is active and keeps the horse in an arc, and your outside leg is only used to keep the horse moving. Your body is directing the horse, not your hands. The steeper you look to the inside of the circle, the sharper your horse will turn. Now while you watch me ride this lovely figure eight, where I lucked out and got two really clean lead changes, I have a little more to say. First of all, I want you guys to try to make all of your aids mean something. Consider that your horse is trying to interpret all of the conflicting, muddled signals that you're sending. Be more definite in your communication. Slow down and teach your horse what you're trying to convey rather than just going through all the motions of walk, trot, canter, reverse, walk, trot, canter, stop, back up. I also wanted to mention a little bit on our recent reading assignment that I posted on Facebook and the subject of lightness, collection, and self-carriage. In this video, you guys are watching Uma. As most of you know, she's used to being ridden in a spade bit. It's been no problem to ride her in this snaffle. During this entire ride, I have to tell you that she never once leaned on my hands. The reason she didn't lean on my hands is because we've taught her to respond to our body. I don't have to pull on the reins to steer her or to stop her. It's not a strength contest. It's certainly not a leverage contest. It's a matter of communication, and that communication has to go both ways. We don't believe in drilling our horses. We believe in teaching our horses. They learn to understand what's being asked of them and so I think they actually enjoy the work at some level. They probably enjoy grain more, but they, they don't dread it. And that's something that's really important in horsemanship. Thank you.